Have you ever accidentally hit the erase button on your duet board or somehow corrupted your riprap firmware? Let me show you how to fix that. Hey everyone, Chris here back again with another short video, this time on how to recover your riprap firmware on your duet mainboard. But before we get started, just a quick explanation on what this printer is, because a lot of you have never seen it before. This is the Patreon 2020 build. It is based on exoslides, it's a Core XY machine, but we've been building it piece by piece via live stream over on the Patreon page. And hopefully by the time you see this video, it will be finished and up and running. And there will be more content on the main channel about this printer soon. But during one of those live streams, we ran into an issue with the Duet Wi-Fi board we were using. It didn't seem to have any firmware on it and it wasn't responding at all. So at some point, I probably either hit the erase button on the board or corrupted it somehow. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a video on how to restore that riprap firmware just in case it helps somebody else out. So let's not waste any time, let's get to the screen share. So before we get started on correcting the error, I wanted to show you what the Duet board should look like so you know what to look for in case you have to do this process. Duet recommends you use Yacht, yet another terminal. I'm gonna pull that open. I will leave a link to it in the description. The reason why they use this is because it does escape characters different than other terminals. It does make your life a lot easier for how the Duet and RipRap firmware do things, especially if you want to copy and paste commands. Prodder face leaves some weird spaces in there. Just go ahead and use this one. So if you've opened up your connection to your Duet board before and you have it cabled USB, it should go ahead and connect up, and this one did. If it says connected serial port and then your COM port and gives you all the attributes, you're good. RipRap firmware is intact. You can do an M114. This is just a command that tells you where you are. This machine hasn't been homed or anything like that. This just proves we are communicating with it because it did return something. So that's a good sign. RipRap is intact right now on this board. Now, if it is not, you're gonna see something else. And before I go resetting this board so I can show this process, I am gonna go make a backup of my config real quick. I'm gonna to go to settings, system editor, and if you tick the select all box and then right click out here, it'll let you download this whole thing as a zip. So I'm gonna hit download as, so that'll save all my config files. And just to note, I am on firmware 205. So I'm gonna go back to that same firmware it's important for you to try to get to the same family that you were using before if you know it. Especially if you have a config that you've saved somewhere in case of accidents like this, because that config might not work with previous or newer firmware versions. So try to get in the same family. If you're on 1 dot, 2 dot, or 3 dot. After you get it back up and running, you can work on the upgrades later, but certain M and G code commands might not work in different families of firmware. Just note that. With a little bit of work, you can probably update it, but it's not something you want to deal with right off the bat. So now that we have our backup made, let's take a look at the board. Depending on the version of the Duet board, things are a little bit different how you reset them. They have taken a few more safety precautions on some of the other versions. There will be sometimes a jumper right in here that you have to short out on boot, and then that will allow you to use the reset button to reset the firmware. This is a 1.03, Duet Wi-Fi 2, I have had it for a little bit. This one, you can just hit the erase button, and that button is right there. It's awful close to the reset button, which just reboots the board. It is inset a bit, but it's still kind of easy to accidentally hit it. But for this video, we're gonna hit it on purpose. So we'll press erase. Notice we have the two red LEDs here. We still have the green and red. You can't see it, it's down below but the Wi-Fi light has gone out. That means this board has lost its mind. So now we need to put RipRap firmware back on this board. The first thing we need to do is install a BASA driver. There are some instructions out on the Duet site on how to get this done. I'll leave links to all this in the description, but we need to download BASA, preferably the newest version. This is 1.9.1. I'm on Windows. I'm just gonna grab this MSI package right here. We'll click it when the download finishes. We'll just go through the wizard, hit finish when it's done. Now let's close Yacht and open it back up. Now that we have that driver installed and the board is in program mode with that Diag LED lit, it should come up as a different COM port. 
We were on COM port 4 before, now we're on COM 8. If you go to Terminal and go down to Settings, you'll see COM 8 is a BOSS port, the programming port. So that means we can now communicate with the board so that we can put some firmware on it. So that BOSSA tool is a driver for that programming port, but it's also a writer, so you can write those bin files on the board directly. So we're gonna go ahead and close Yacht for now, and we need to go download some firmware for this board. Again, I'll leave links, but on the Duet GitHub, you can get any version of firmware that you would like. I'm gonna go with a 2.0 release. We're gonna use 2.05.1. This is one of the more recent releases of 2.0 firmware. We'll click here and we want the Duet 2 combined firmware.bin. This is gonna work for your Wi-Fi board. If you have a Maestro board, you can grab the other files down here. This should update all the firmware we need on the board. So we'll just get this file. Once that download is complete, we're gonna open up the BASA app. Remember in Yacht, our serial port for this programming port was COM8. I'm gonna browse. Go to Downloads, where I downloaded that bin file, right here. We'll hit Open. We're gonna check Erase All, Lock, and Boot to Flash, and then we can just hit Write. The write should only take about a minute or two, and then it'll go successful. Now that the firmware is on, if we power off the board, and then power it back on, you can see the Diag pin is no longer on, and our Wi-Fi light is back on. And that's a good sign. And our DWC has restarted. Now, my web configuration is still on my SD card. None of that went away. Just the RipRep firmware that was on the board. And if you're having problems with your board, you might have to go through this erase sequence or move the jumper, depending on the hardware that you're using, to get it to erase that firmware so that it will allow you to put firmware back on like we just did. And since in my case, I did make a backup of the config, but the SD card is still intact, I should have everything exactly where I left it. So if you go to settings, System Editor, our config G file is there, as well as all the other files. So we didn't lose anything. But from here, if you want to update, you can do that from the GUI from now on. That can all be done in the Settings General tab right here. And if you need to know how to build a configuration for Duet, I do have a video for that. I'll leave links to that in the description as well. So hopefully you never have to go through this process, but if something is wrong with your board, it's just a few quick steps and you should get right back up and working. And just to give you a little bit more info, I pulled the SD card that's on the Duet board and we're gonna take a look at it here on the computer. When you do this process and you have an SD card mounted on your board, it should load all the generic files you need to do this web interface as well as the other machine files. It even comes with a zip file that has some Duet drivers in it if you need them. If you go into Sys, these are all the files that we zipped and saved at the beginning of the video. So it's gonna give you a generic set by default, but they're not gonna be much good to you until you go and configure them. If you have a copy, just paste them in here, overwrite them, and then that will be the new set that's gonna be on the board next time you boot it. If you need to build it from scratch, you can use the RipRap tool. This is the RipRap configuration tool. This will help you get started with a generic printer config that you can use on your machine. That's gonna spit out all the files, you can copy them to your SD card, and you should be good to go. Again, all of this is in the other video that I will link in the description. And when you do a backup of your SD card, if you need to, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and save your macros in case you have any custom ones out here that you wanna use in the future. But that should be it. Everything should be good to go, and you should be back up and working on your Duet board with your RipRap firmware. And that's it. Now you should be back up and running with RipRap firmware on your Duet board. And as I stated before, the most important thing to remember is to try to stay in the same family of firmware that you had before, especially if you had a saved config. Because a lot of those M and G code commands might not work the same in different families, going from one to two to three. So don't try to upgrade all at once. You can do that after you get your board back up and running. Hopefully this was helpful for some of you, and I will see you again very soon on the next one.